वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर वी के चौहान होम्योपैथिक फिजिशियन वी आर रिवाइजिंग द होम्योपैथिक रेमेडी कैलकेरिया आर्सेनिका वी आर डीलिंग हियर विद पार्ट सेवन क्लिनिकल को रिलेशन एंड द टेक्स्ट इज टेकन अप फ्रॉम एलन्स की नोट एंड दिस इज अ वेरी गुड स्टडी फॉर बी एच एम एस स्टूडेंट एंड इंटर्नस so let us see the first pqr great mental depression we find certain references for this particular pqr in uh, uh, by other authors and first author is k n mathur we find here great depression of mind with anxiety in persons suffering from albuminuria and other references are from kent becomes indifferent to pleasure irresolution irritable lamenting loathing of life weary of life discontented excitable fear of death at night or solitude of insanity desire for company confusion of mind on waking inability to concentrate the mind apprehensiveness about the future about his salvation especially at night and he is inclined to criticize the clinical correlation the above symptom points to clinical diagnosis of recurrent depressive disorder the condition is characterized by repeated episodes of depression which can be in favor of unipolar depression as specified in depressive episode it can be a mild depression moderate or severe depression here with this remedy we find a comorbidity substance related related disorder that is alcohol addiction now we go to pqr2 the slightest emotion causes palpitation of heart let us have some insight into the emotion what are emotions emotion is a complex experience of consciousness bodily sensation and behavior that reflects the personal significance of a thing an event or a state of affair let us have some broad idea about what are the types of emotions generally we get commonly we have the first type which is known as basic emotions they are produced automatically or they are presence they are present in us since birth they are known as primary emotions and second is the self conscious emotion which requires cognitive processing and third is cognitively complex emotion which is combination of two or more basic emotions we have so once again we will see what are the basic emotions or primary emotions these are six happiness sadness anger surprise fear or scaredness and disgust all six are known as basic emotions and out of these friends we find negative emotions if you remember they include sadness anger fear or uh, scaredness and disgust at the same time there are two positive emotions number one is happiness and second is surprise so about the emotions we'll go to the self conscious emotions and they are most important ones include shame which occurs due to publicly damaged self image if your self image is damaged in public probably you will have the feeling of shame and second is the feeling of guilt failure on self evaluation so this is very very important emotion and third emotion is cognitively complex emotion and here we find the first is the in way painful emotion caused by good fortune of others and we have regret arises with the non occurrence of a desired outcome it is a second cognitively complex emotion we have so slightest emotion causes palpitation so palpitation it is a best suited remedy but who is the subject the client is the fleshy woman and when when she reaches the menopause possibly this is the best time where you will find these symptoms will come up palpitation with the heat of face 
palpitation from least excitement or exertion worse evening or night every fourth beat of pulse movements pulse is rapid every fourth beat of pulse movements it is regularly irregular heart rate so this is from the kent we find this component of the symptom patient with valvular heart disease are prone to palpitation that is obviously we have seen this the sleep is disturbed by violent dreams and palpitation and suffocation the later part of the night is wakeful and there is a much sweat pqr3 tells us about the rush of blood to head and left chest here similar remedies include a mild nitrosum and glonine Clinically, we find rush of blood to head and left chest is a peculiar to this remedy, especially more in cases of females, especially at the time of menopause. So, it we have two components: systematic systemic component, which is initially takes place because of the autonomic nervous system vasomotor instability. Vasomotor instability causes palpitation and heart fusses. sweating which is profuse sleep may be disturbed due to the night sweats after hot flush comes the cold shiver as vasodilatation is followed by vasoconstriction psychological components component are emotions and they include anxiety irritability depression nervousness and inability to concentrate we find again pqr4 epilepsy from valvular diseases of heart valvular diseases of heart because because of valve damage there is a defect in one or more valves there can be pulmonary valve tricuspid valve bicuspid valve or mitral valve and aortic valve these are semilunar valves pulmonary and aortic are semilunar valves and if they are involved there can be regurgitation or there can be stenosis and this is associated with epileptic form attacks or seizures there is a strong relationship between valvular lesions and epilepsy most probably due to association with coexistent arrhythmias which results in cerebral infarct may be mild infarct takes place resulting in cerebral infarct and tight valvular lesion like aortic stenosis and rarely follow valvectomy or valve replacement operation we have pqr4 again the epilepsy is from valvular disease of heart and seizure is characterized by abnormal excessive synchronous and sudden electrical firing of neurons in the brain resulting in changes in function and behavior with impaired awareness or consciousness we we need to have a small idea background information about the seizure types there are two seizure types generalized and focal let us we find what are the important generalized seizures we have absent seizure tonic seizure clonic seizure tonic clonic seizures and atonic seizures are very very important myoclonic seizures are also there in partial seizures we get simple partial seizure complex partial seizure and partial seizure with generalization let us see the same pqr4 epilepsy epilepsy from valvular diseases we will get some reference from the lectures on homeopathic materia medica by jt kent what jt kent writes about epilepsy for this remedy is in fact it is deep acting enough to cure some of our most stubborn cases of epilepsy it has made its record in this class of cases burning heat in the chest and pain in the region of heart before an epileptic convulsion epileptic convulsions where the aura is felt in the region of heart and there is a marked lassitude pain and sinking in the region of heart followed by spasms convulsions with valvular diseases of heart evening and night aggravation are common 
This reference is from Kelkiriar's Kent's lecture. We go to the PQR5, Complaints of Drunkards After Abstaining. It has got two components, craving for alcohol as well as when the patient stops taking alcohol, what happens? Complaints of drunkards after abstaining. So we will just find what is alcohol dependence. How we will come to know that the subject is alcohol dependent? So for that reason, we know the CAGE questionnaire, which is a widely used screening test for problem drinking and to screen the potential alcohol problems in patients. So the CAGE questionnaire has got following questions. Number one, have you ever felt you needed to cut down on your drinking? And the second is, have people annoyed you by criticizing your drinking? And third is, have you ever felt guilty about drinking? And fourth question is, have you ever felt or you needed a drink first thing in the morning? eye-opener drink to steady your nerves or to get rid of hangover if out of four two questions are responded in yes please remember that there is a probability of alcoholism and he needs further investigation so complaints of alcoholism alcohol associated complaints or organ damage we'll find as under number one in brain we find memory problems maybe there is vitamin b12 deficiency and then heart disease we have cardiomyopathy high blood pressure a cardiac problem can also be associated with vitamin b1 deficiency very very liver fatty liver alcoholic hepatitis fibrosis and ultimately alcoholic cirrhosis in a stomach we have gerd and dyspepsia very common Pancreas, pancreatitis is one of the very common complications of alcoholism. Cancer, alcohol is a known to humans as a carcinogen. Sheer risk is higher for oral cavity, esophagus and breast, colorectal cancer also. Immune system becomes sluggish. Weak immune system predisposes to pneumonia and tuberculosis. Vitamin deficiency, which is common, is B1 and B12 with alcoholism. And general obesity is very common, which predisposes you for hypertension, diabetes, osteoarthritis, gallstones. So, complaints of drunkard after abstaining. Withdrawal syndrome, we are talking about the stages of alcohol withdrawal can be mild. Stage 1, which is occurring at the 8 hours. Anxiety, tremors, insomnia, headache, palpitation, and GIT disturbances are common. And if you find the stage 2, which is a moderate, 1 to 3 days, and here you will find that the patient has mild symptoms, dysphoresis, raised systolic blood pressure, tachypnea, tachycardia, confusion, mild hyperthermia, and a stage 3 is severe by 7 days, Delirium tremors is the most important. Mania apotu, which is the reference in Kent repertory, you will get disorientation, impaired attention, visual and auditory hallucinations and seizures are very, very common. We go to the PQR6, complaints of fleshy woman when approaching the menopause. Perimenopause means around menopause, the natural transition of menopause making the end of the productive years in the female's life, productive life. We have pre-menopause, we have perimenopause, menopause and post-menopause. These are the stages and once the productive age group ends, you have the perimenopause comes, which is approximately for 10 or 12 years of time and it has got superimposed symptoms, irregular periods, night sweats, heart flushes and loss of libido is very very common. Once the menopause takes place, vaginal discomfort, breast cancer and depression is the common pre uh, uh, conditions which is going to be affect these ladies and in post menopause we have osteoporosis, urinary 
infection and heart diseases so females life has got run certain transition and each transition has got its own vulnerability what we see and this remedy is for perimenopausal state in females life especially if they happen to be fleshy so clinically the perimenopausal or midlife transition takes place 8 to 10 years to settle down and it presents with the following symptoms irregular periods or skipping of periods periods that are heavier or lighter than usual hot flushes vaginal dryness and discomfort during the sexual activity and urinary urgency sleep problems especially insomnia and mood swings like irritability and depression is very very common so friends thank you very much for your patient listening thanks once